Sensitive Facial Cleansing Towelettes. Then apply Burt's Bees Sensitive Night Cream and sleep soundly, knowing your skin is being hydrated while you snooze. Okay, so that was um, <laughs> mistake number two. Okay, and um, so that Burt's Bees Sensitive Facial Cleansing Towelettes with cotton extract, it's only $6, ladies. It's not expensive. You can find it at your local uh, department store. I'm not department store, but your local grocery store in in the uh in certain sections of the grocery store you can find it at your health food stores those type of stores and the Burt's Bee sensitive night cream is only $15 so see very affordable and yet it's natural and it works okay mistake number 2 applying too many products to our face Yes, ladies, we are applying too many products to our face. Using too many products can overexpose your skin to harsh ingredients, causing irritation and redness. Instead, what you want to do is only apply those products that you need to apply. So basically what you would want to apply after washing your skin and exfoli- exfoliating if you if you don't have uh dry skin if you have oily skin you want to exfoliate once a week and then you want to apply a light uh moisturizer to your face it's one that is uh free of chemicals and is not going to clog your pores so Burt's Bees has a product called sensitive skin it's a, a full sensitive skin care line. So if you have sensitive skin, but you you want to care of your skin, then you will you want to try the uh, the sensitive skin care line, which was earned the Burt's Bee skin care line earned the National Eczema Association Seal of Acceptance. How wonderful and and impressive is that? The National Eczema Association Seal of Acceptance. The nature-infused products are sure to nurture your skin. Now, some another product that I use on a regular basis is called a 100% Pure. 100% Pure. They have a complete skincare line of products that are natural made. Uh, For instance, you won't believe this, but they have three mascaras that they sell. One is uh, uh, the black mascara that has, uh, it's colored with blackberries. (laughs) And uh, then they have the chocolate mascara, and it's, it's brown, the brown mascara, which smells like, it actually smells, ladies, like deep, dark chocolate. I'm I'm serious. If you put this on your eyelashes and you're around your mate, they may want to eat eat your eyelashes off. Um, but but the third one is the blue colored mascara, and that's colored with blueberries. It's all very natural, and the black makes your eyelashes long and lush. And the brown mascara, which is more chocolate uh, scented. It, and used a chocolate is used in it, um, the sugar, of course, and it makes your eyelashes nice and soft. And the blueberry is more for the stylish or the more when you're dressing up, going out, and you really want to your eyelashes to pop and and you want to stand out and you're you're really in, into the dressy dressing up look and and looking your your best sophisticated, beautiful self. So you want to probably try the blue mascara. Okay, so let's move on to another mistake that we're making. And, of course, at this point, I am open to to take calls if you have questions. The call-in number to Partners in Health and Biz this morning is 347-945-7433. 347-945-7433. Please call in now. I'll put you on hold, and you won't miss the other uh, mistakes that we're making 
uh, and I'll, I'll give you a chance to uh, t- give you a chance to let me know what your question is, and we'll finish this uh, finish this show. Wow. Okay. So moving right along to mistake. Now, which mistake is this? Number four. Skipping your eye area. Now, ladies, your eye area is very sensitive. There are lots of cosmetics out there, but you want to make sure that, once again, you're using a natural uh, product that's going to help with the sensitive eye area. And directions on many moisturizers tell us not to apply near the delicate eye area as skin around the eyes is much thinner than the rest of the face. But don't avoid your eyes altogether, ladies. Choose a moisturizer that is formulated for that area, which is first to show aging. So you know the eye area is first to show aging because... We smile, just like the around the mouth sometimes. If you smile a lot, you may get smile lines around your mouth, which is smiling is beautiful. It makes us more beautiful. The more we smile, the more beautiful we look. Um, and then squinting. Sometimes we're not using uh, proper eye protection, sunglasses with UVA protection when we go out in the sun. So we squint. And sometimes we're... It's time for us to go and get an eye checkup. So instead of putting those eyeglasses on or reading glasses, we're trying to be cute and act like we don't have, we have 20-20, like our eyes are perfect, and we start squinting. Well, what happens when we squint? Squinting creates more wrinkles around the eyes. Also, If you're not getting enough sleep, going back to sleep being the number one thing that we can do to improve our skin and the mistake that we're making by not getting enough sleep. Well, by not getting enough sleep, ladies, remember you're also increasing those bags under your eyes and uh, and then some of you have dark circles around your eyes from not getting enough sleep. So what do we do? Put the concealer on and try to hide it. And um, if you have have those little uh, frown lines around your eyes from uh, frowning and uh, wrinkling your, your eyes and squinting, then when you put on certain makeup, that's going to actually bring more attention to those areas. Instead of less attention, it's going to make them more visible. So you first want to make sure you moisturize that area around your eyes very, very good and um, moisturize it and give it a few minutes so we can sink into your skin and make sure that you pat gently around your eye area because it's very sensitive. You don't want to pull or uh, put any excess pressure on the sensitive under eye and around the sides of your eye. You just want to apply your moisturizer very gently. And if you use a foundation, you definitely want to uh, do it very gently around the eyes. So one type of product that Burt's Bees creates is a moisturizer for the eye area. And it's called, did you can try this, there are many others out there. Some of um, some of the products on the market are good, and some of them are not 100% pure or natural. Well, Burt's Bee has a product called Burt's Bee Sensitive Eye Cream, which moisturizes without causing redness or ir- irritation and opens your eyes to smoother, younger-looking skin. Um so this Burt's Bee product, let's see, the eye, eye care product, it is $15. Again, very affordable, and uh, that's something that we all need to use is to use this uh, some type of eye cream that is natural around our eyes. So look for the NEA seal of acceptance on Burt's Bees Sensitive Skin Care line. Um, so, and we're going to share with you the final mistake that 
most women are making with their skin, skin care. And that is an unhealthy diet. (laughs) So, you know, we could talk about that for quite a while, but you know a well-balanced diet is crucial to your health, but your diet can also make or break your complexion. And how many of you have heard uh, people say, those French fries can make your, if you have acne, can make your acne worse. Um, certain foods that you eat can cause rashes, can break your skin out. Many people are allergic to raspberries. They they have um, allergies and they'll break out if they eat certain types of fruits. Some people are allergic to peanuts and that can cause. But then it's just not eating healthy, um, not eating enough fruits and vegetables, um, green leafy vegetables, and eating too many foods that are loaded with saturated fats, refined sugar, artificial flavors, chemicals, and salt, all of these things can directly lead to breakouts. So while it's okay to indulge sometimes, we need to feed our skin with good-for-you, vitamin-rich foods for a healthy glow. Oh, avocados are wonderful for the skin, so try those avocados. They taste good, and they're excellent for the skin. There are so many different skin masks that you can find online. YouTube has uh, several, several, lots and lots and lots, not several, but lots of videos on natural skin care and different recipes you can use on your skin, like egg yolks and um You want to put some aloe vera on your skin, so soothing and moisturizing. There's um, lemon juice for trying uh, to get getting rid of those dark spots on our face. All sort all sorts of products. Not actually, some of them are products, but they're really not products. They're foods that you can place on your face. And I know some people say I'm not putting any food on my face, but trust me. Some of these natural remedies have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. So, uh, ladies, we are just about down on time. If anyone has one quick question, you have to call in right now, 347-945-7433. If not, let me just tell you about next week's show. My partner, Wendy Meyerhoff, will be – her show is next Saturday – And her topic is careful caregiving, careful caregiving. That happens on February the 19th, and you don't want to miss that show. If you want more information, health and wellness information, then you can visit www.partnersinhealth.biz for upcoming shows for next week for this show. Uh, PIHradio.net. You can visit the website www.pihradio.net. And don't forget, not only is the health, the Be More Health Healthy Expo next month of healing, everyone. We want, don't want you to miss it. That is next month, March the 16th, and it's from. 10:30 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. We're going to meet. We're starting back up for the spring at once again at the Benjamin Banneker Historic Park, 300 Oella Avenue in Catonsville, Maryland. That's the Benjamin Banneker Historic Park. If you've never been there, oh my goodness, I'm telling you, you are missing a wonderful experience. The park is beautiful. The atmosphere is wonderful. Even when it's hot outside, it's cool there because of the trees and and the spiritual aspect. So we're going to get together, and and we're going to really have a, a wonderful time of catching up and fellowship. For those who would like to join, all you have to do is go to the website, www.partnersinhealth.biz, and register online March the 16th. We would love to see you there. You can come out. You can get your T-shirt. We have T-shirts for uh, anyone who wants to 
uh, be a part of our group. You don't have to have one. 